It's been a while. I thought today we could play another game that might be scary. It might give me nightmares. Welcome to Uncle Panko's terrible little farm. Explore the surrounding forest and farmland. Take care of the livestock and follow your uncle's weird rules to have a great summer vacation. Or don't. <laughs> Look at the graphics quality. It's 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 a little happy face getting happier. An kind of angry actually. I've never seen that before. <laughs> Okay. What? This is kind of cool. My dear nephew, greetings, Stephen. It's I, your uncle Paco. Hope you're well. Your parents tell me that you're still a graduate of Mighty Demon. Indeed, Quentin. It feels like just yesterday you could barely walk and talk, and now you're almost fully grown. How time flies. Is this like a. Is this a parody of Stardew Valley? I think it is. Looking back, it seems that I haven't actually- I thought it was gonna cut me off, but that's why I read so fast. Looking back, it seems that I haven't actually seen you in person since then. And for that, I apologize. I'm just so busy at the farm nowadays. Which brings me to the point of this letter. Oh, this is definitely, yes. <laughs> you ever play Stardew Valley? This is so, yeah, just like it. I would like to invite you to spend the summer here with me. It would be nice to have some help, and we can make up for all the lost time. If you would like to accept my offer, Jeremy, is he said like three different names by now? All you have to do is take the bus to the furthest station, uh, stop at the outskirts of the next town over. Once you get there, just follow the dirt path cutting through the woods. My farm is just around the corner. Hope to see you soon. Whoa, I actually really dig the freaking art style in this game. This is cool, dude. Oh yeah, I gotta follow a dirt path. Where's the dirt path? Oh, there's the dirt path. Oh my god, I'm so tempted though to keep going. Maybe different ending? Nope. Invisible wall. Yep. <laughs> All right, Uncle Panko's never failed me. He's never failed me before. Surely this will be good. I just gotta stay on the dirt path. I, it's like I just cut through. No, I follow the rules. Loving the little wind lines that they have. Okay. Oh, he's got a gnome. <laughs> I don't trust this freaking gnome. At all, dude. Is this supposed to say? Okay. Michael, you don't know my name. You definitely don't know. Why? Is that a coincidence? How do you know my name? Literally did not say that before. Michael, my boy. I'm glad that you decided to visit. Unfortunately, something unexpected came up. And I'll be gone for the first few days of our stay. Your stay. Would you mind doing some work around the farm until I return? I know. Yeah, you could have asked. Could have asked me. I know it's a lot to ask, as, and you'll be all by yourself, but if anyone can handle it, you can, Robert. Okay, dude. Uh, I think it's just a coincidence that he happened to say Michael. It's a very common name. It's not an evil game, guys. This is a cute game. I've left a few more instructions around the house to help you, and I'll take on the majority of the work again once I get back. The key to the front door is located under the little goblin. <laughs> The goblin on the porch and your room is on the second floor. Make yourself at home. Uncle Panko. I love you, Uncle Panko. Hello, Uncle Panko. He's got a kind of a nice house. Got a, like a bar going on. Big old kitchen. I'm trying to look around and make sure that I don't see nothing evil. Because if I see something evil, I'm going to turn the heck around and go back home. We have to go to our room after all. Wait, what? What? It's locked. They're all locked. Okay, except for this one. Okay, a guitar. Nice. This is where I get my knowledge. Okay, well, I can't do anything in my room, apparently. There's a guitar and a cup. I don't know what you want from me. Okay, outside we go. What the heck is this little divot in the house? It's kind of freaking weird, right? That's very odd. Lenny! <laughs> I'm not sure who Uncle Panko thinks he's talking to. He's like, you know, I don't remember his name. I just don't remember my little nephew's name or whatever uh, we're supposed to be. I'll just call him every name. Lenny, I see you found the barn. The cows can be quite rowdy, especially on Sundays, Thursdays, and the second Wednesday of every other month. Wow, how oddly specific. So if you hear any odd sounds coming from outside, pay them no mind. I feed them. Oh, I fed them and locked the door because I left uh, so they wouldn't bother you today. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. <laughs> However, I would like you to let them out to graze. The key to the barn door is hanging in the entryway of the house. Please uh, leave it unlocked until the sun comes up tomorrow. Uncle Panko. I should start calling him the wrong name. Uncle Panko. There's another note. Dearest nephew. Not even calling me a name this time. 
Apologies, but I forgot to mention something important. How many notes does he have? Life out in the wilderness can be a bit rougher than life in the suburbs, especially at night. Oh god, that's not good. I don't want to hear that. Not all the time, but enough that some caution is warranted. So before the sun fully sets each day, I need you to go inside of the house and remain there until the sun rises again. I don't know why he's so angry. Today specifically, you'll need to make sure you just shut and lock the back and front doors in that order. Wow, in that order? What happens if I do it the opposite? Uh, back, then front, before going to bed as well. Uncle Panko, I don't like you. This is so weird. I don't remember Stardew Valley being like this. Okay, get the key. He said on the entryway. That's what he said, didn't he? Hey, wait a minute. Uncle Panku is lying to me. Hey, I'm going upstairs. Oh, I go to sleep now. Wasn't I supposed to open a door? Oh my god. The gnome. The gnome, the little goblins here. Rodney, it seems you may have made a mistake during your nightly routine. That's all right. Nobody's perfect. Unfortunately, that means... Oh, wait, that was locking the door. I didn't know. I thought I'd go open the barn. I thought he said go get the key and open the barn. I guess I was locking the doors. Oh, I already screwed up. That's all right. Nobody's perfect. Unfortunately, that means that one of them got inside the house. This is fixable, but you need to follow... What is them? What is one of them? This is fixable, but you need to follow these instructions exactly as I have I written them. Take a red candle from your bedside drawer and light it. Then walk with it calmly to the downstairs bathroom and lock yourself in. What? Is there multiple colored candles? There's a pillow and a blanket in the cabinet under the sink in case you need it. The bathtub isn't exactly the most comfortable place to sleep in the house, but it's better than the alternative. Uncle Panko. My name is not Rodney. Oh, yeah, there is multiple candles. Are you kidding me? Fine, there's a red candle. Go downstairs. I'm not flying down these stairs. Oh my god, it doesn't end. What in the Super Mario 64 is going on over here? Oh god, I think I already broke his rules. He said red, didn't he? Oh my god, this is terrifying. Oh! Oh, I can't go! Whoa! What is that? Okay, we're gonna we're gonna take it head on, I guess. Oh, it's gone. Ah! No, 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 no. Okay, it's gone. Do I sleep in the bathtub? What do I freaking do? Yeah, you said the getting here, the, the, the thing. Okay, uh, yep, yeah, I'll go sleep now. What the heck was that? It looked like a, an eel. Like a flying eel. I don't know if I want to inherit Grandpa's farm. Okay, where's the note? I know there's a note hanging around somewhere. Where's it at? I don't... It's like he never left. He just keeps... Oh, there it is. Now it lets me get the key. Oh, look at these cute little cows. Look at them. Oh, go graze, little cows. Oh, this game is so cute. It's not a scary game at all. Hey, little buddy. I don't think you're supposed to be out here. Come back inside. Hey! Oh my god, that's a freaking fast cow. Come here! <gasps> hey, why are you following me? Hey! What the heck? What? <laughs> ah! He lured me out here, you little demon cow! Oh, did you stop it? Why am I scared by a cow? Oh, wait! What? Ah! What? <laughs> what the heck was that? Okay, I think I'm getting back inside. Leave me! Oh! I'm so confused. Moki! If <laughs> you've ever been reading this, you're probably doing well. I'm very proud. <laughs> he doesn't even know my name. Besides, caring for the livestock, I'd like you to harvest some of my crops today. The purple stuff to get uh, to be specific. Grab the sickle next to the gate and start getting get started whenever you're ready. Make sure to keep an eye on your surroundings while you're harvesting. The field is small. It's more like a patch than anything else. But some little rascals still tend to hide in there where the crops are at their tallest. Don't worry too much about it. Just stay on your toes and you'll be fine. Uncle Panko. I don't trust any of you. Oh, I love these animations. Amazing. They're all the same height though. Okay, yep. I already hear it. I already hear it. Oh my god. Where? <gasps> what the heck is that? I see you. You're not gonna get me. That was part of the game, right? Is it the next day? What? It's like I didn't harvest any crops. I'm blocking them this time. No. No, you're not going anywhere. Oh, wait, it got out again. Did I fail? 
Maybe I'm supposed to go whack it. Okay, let's go ahead and try this again. This time I'm gonna whack them. Where? Where are they? I'm gonna freaking go whack them. Where? Ooh, okay, yeah, it's like whacking them all. Whack the demon. Bro, I'm like a pro at this game. Pro farmer. What are these purple plants, though? That's kind of weird, though. Like, Uncle freaking Panko, what are you growing? The n Hey! Come here! Why do I feel like he is the reason why- Ugh! If only I could freaking kill it and bury it. What the heck is this? Some kind of freaking- The Geico lizard? What is this? Okay. I just heard a noise. I always hear noises when I do horror games, man. Don't like it. Okay, well, man, I'm tired. Yeah, oh, there's another note. I should have known. Bristophil, you're actually making up names at this point, right? Thank you again for doing all this while I'm gone. Promise me you won't have to spend your whole summer here just doing work around the farm. Why don't you herd the cows back into the barn and take the rest of the day off? Just ring the chimes next to the barn door three times. Very specific, exactly, and they'll make it from there, and after that, you can head on back to the house. Wait, so I have to, like, ring it three times to get them in? Okay. Oh. How easy. Bye, you weird cows. Rise and shine, today you're going to meet my chickens, or rather my chickens' eggs. They should have laid a good amount of them by now, and I'd like you to go out in the coop and gather them. There's a basket on the kitchen counter you can use to, to hold them. Just put it back where you found it when they're done, when you're done. Oh, and one more thing, chickens make easy prey for some of the local wildlife, and their eggs are even easier, so stay on guard and don't let anything sneak up on you while you're distracted gathering eggs. But most importantly, have fun! Uncle Panko. Thank you, Uncle. I'm pretty sure this is Uncle Panko. Right, he keeps appearing. And I don't recall seeing any chickens anywhere. Is this it? Like this thing? Oh. I see you! Getting turned into Five Nights at Freddy's. My god, how many. That is so many freaking eggs for one little chicken. Uncle Panko, I don't know what you're running over here, Uncle Panko. There, I did it. There. I did it. My boy, thank you again for helping out around the farm. I know it might not exactly be fun, especially not by yourself, but I hope you might grow to love this land as I have. Anyway, I think you've done everything important for now, I think. Feel free to spend the rest of your day as you wish. Just head to the bed whenever you get tired. I'm sure I didn't forget anything. I am watching you. So, aka explore the house. That's what I heard. Maybe those rooms were gonna be open now? No? This is where he writes off his letters. Oh, I get it now. How did I not put that together? Oh my god, he's got one of those talking fish. <laughs> Still one of, my, one of my most favorite clips is that freaking talking fish that's all broken. <laughs> Alright, I went to sleep. I, I really couldn't do anything, so. Okay, I literally didn't even do anything wrong. I didn't do anything wrong. You can't say I did. I ain't scared. I ain't scared. I think I'm scared. Oh god, I'm getting a little scared. Uh... Nephew. I think I forgot to mention something I've never forgotten before. What? The goblin that you took the house key from when you first arrived? There's a non-zero chance that it might have been replaced by a gnome. It was supposed to be a goblin and not a gnome. I was- I was wondering why he called it that. I thought it was very funny. And if you took the key from it, you will have effectively invited it into the house to stay. I don't own any gnomes, but one of my neighbors does, and it doesn't like to share. I won't sugarcoat it. You're in serious trouble by the time you finish reading this note. I reckon you'll have about one minute to find the gnome in the house and give it back before the owner gets inside to take it. Check everywhere. Oh my god, this is terrifying. Check everywhere you can think of around the corners, inside cabinets, everywhere. It'll be hiding anywhere. Once you find it, just open the front door and throw it outside. Literally, just throw the freaking thing out. Uncle Panko. <gasps> Holy freaking... Oh my god, and it's dark as balls! He's gotta be upstairs, right? Logically? Whoo! He could be in the toilet! Oh, oh, a key, a key. Oh, there he is! I found him! Ah! Get out, spot of Satan! <laughs> no! Wait, I have a key! I still have it. <gasps> Matt, wait, 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 wait. Happy and Star were here and got a riding 
credit. Sweet Jesus! That's a carbon monoxide lake! You must have been breathing it for days! We need to get out of here! What is happening in this game? Is it the- Ah! What? <laughs> Uncle Panko, you look like a cloud! What? Time to go to the hospital. What was this game? Was it all just a carbon monoxide leak or was it the gnome? What the heck? <laughs> Such an unexpected ending. Okay, so I redid did it and I didn't even lock the doors at all. Oh, I, I guess I messed up. Oh, oh well. What happens if I take the wrong candle? Oh, there's no jump scare. Okay. What happens if the neighbor comes in? I'm assuming there's another key we could probably find somewhere. Oh, it's like, okay, I can't open the door here. Oh, why am I freaked out? Where's the neighbor? Hello, neighbor. Oh, I, I didn't know I picked up the gnome. Piece of crap. Someone knocking on the door? What the heck? <laughs> There's my favorite nephew. How great you find to, see, to finally see you after all this time. You're quite a bit shorter than I remembered. I'm sorry I was gone for so long. I hope you weren't too bored here all by yourself. What's my name? Notes? Chores? Weird creatures from the fields and the forest? Why, I'm certain I only sent you one letter and left one note on the front door before you arrived. You must have had a nightmare of some kind, and I don't blame you. It can be a little scary out here sometimes, especially on your own. Well, you won't have to worry about that anymore. How about I make us breakfast, and then I'll give you the grand tour of the property. I hope you're ready for a summer of fun. Ending 2. Okay. Well, guys, I'll link the game down below if you want to get the last ending. That's all the time I got for today. Smash like, subscribe if you haven't already for more cute horror games. I've played so many of these kinds of games. That was a good game, though. All right, bye-bye.